Barclays Bank has reported a 25% rise in statutory pre-tax profits to pound 3.1 BN for the six months to the end of June. Profits last year were pound 2.55 BN. The bank also set aside a further £850 million to compensate customers, including further claims for missold payment protection insurance. The results come less than a month after new chairman John McFarlane sacked chief executive Anthony Jenkins. In total, Barclays has now set aside £6 billion to compensate for PPI mis-selling. Mr McFarlane is expected set out plans to speed up reform at the bank later. In April, Barclays set aside a further £800 million, largely to cover potential further legal action and penalties for alleged foreign exchange manipulation. That resulted in Barclays reporting a 26% fall in its first quarter statutory profits to pound 1.34 BN. But Barclays made a £496 million gain on the sale of assets bought following the collapse of Lehman Brothers in 2008. It also said it intended to maintain its dividend at 6.5p this year, the same as it paid in 2014. Barclays' share price was 2% higher to 285.10p in early trade on the London Stock Exchange. Mr McFarlane, who took over as executive chairman of insurance giant Aviva in 2012 after sacking then-chief executive Andrew Moss, believes Barclays' turnaround is not happening quickly enough. As he did at Aviva, Mr. McFarlane, who only joined the bank in April, will take on executive duties, spearheading a quest for higher returns until a replacement is found, which, it is thought, is unlikely to be before early next year. Barclays also said it had set aside £250 million for customer refunds and associated costs in response to complaints received relating to its packaged bank accounts. These incur a fee but often come with added extras, a typical example being free motoring roadside assistance. Mr. McFarlane said Barclays needed to accelerate growth in earnings, return on equity, and capital generation. The bank has already announced 19,000 job cuts. He said, there is more that can be done to deliver better returns for shareholders, faster, and that work has begun. Mr. McFarlane also announced the bank would speed up the process of mothballing or selling the bank's non-core divisions, to reduce them to a value of £20 BN by 2017.